y'all, it's the Cute Coffee Gal, and I am back with part 62 of my Decades Challenge. It has been a really long time since I played, and I'm sorry about that. I'll kind of update you guys on where I'm at, uh, but in the meantime, please give this video a big thumbs up, and make sure that you have subscribed to my channel. Um, as, as you know, I've been a little sporadic with the updates, so subscribing is the best way for you to know when I am uh, posting a new video. And I am less than 40 subscribers away from 1,000 subscribers. That has been my goal for a long time. And we are so close. And as soon as I hit that, I am going to be doing a giveaway for both um, Island Living as well as Strangerville. Like, it'll be one giveaway for both packs. So make sure that you're subscribed um, so that we can get to that 1,000 mark and get that giveaway going. So we are here in the lovely new teeny tiny home. Uh, for our, our newly married couple. Um, so if you'll remember, we had Betty, is now Betty Balls. She and Leroy got married in the last part. They went to Betty's home to her parents and kind of explained what they were doing. And unfortunately, her family was not supportive of this relationship. And they kicked them out or kicked Betty out of her apartment in San Myshuno. So they have now... Uh, unfortunately have moved into this teeny tiny little house and have eloped. They did not get to have a wedding ceremony, um, but they're here. So we're gonna uh, enjoy a life in the teeny tiny home, I suppose. <laughs> uh, and I did, if you'll remember the last part, I had some difficulties getting the bed to work. You'll see that I kind of rearranged the furniture a little bit, but they have, um, their kitchen does not even have an oven. Like they just have this microwave and a fridge. And then they've got this one little desk with the typewriter on it so that they can do their work in school and whatnot. Um, we also have this little bookcase dresser and we also have a TV that is on a stand here. So it's like really small, um, kind of the way that it would be back in the 1960s. So that is uh, the situation that we've got here. Also, you will notice that Leroy is here um, getting towards the end of his schooling. So he will be done very soon. And then Betty actually has finished and she has graduation coming up. I want to say it's tomorrow, um, which will be happening very soon because it's Monday night. But that is where we are at for the two of them. Um, the uh, the next thing that is on the, the kind of agenda is that we will definitely want to make sure that Betty gets a job and so I will have her do that as soon as graduation is over but I'm going to go ahead and play through this evening and get them on to the next day because I'd like to see what graduation looks like I still haven't done that yet um where have I been and why have I been taking so long to uh, upload well as you know we're, the, the world's in a little bit of a crisis right now if you are watching this in the future uh, we are currently, I am on week eight of being, uh, on lockdown in my home with the, uh, the global pandemic. So, uh, that is, is where we are at right now. Um, I thought that once we did go into this kind of lockdown mode that I might have some more time to record, but I actually had a hard time kind of getting work all figured out, um, and making sure that I was prioritizing getting, um, working from home. So uh, that was kind of how the first month of lockdown wound up going for me. Oh, look at Leroy doing such a good job with his reading. Is he doing homework by chance? He is. Look at him go. Such a good guy. I didn't even have to tell him to do it. Um, and so I, the first month or so of this lockdown, I really was focusing on making sure that I was getting my work done. And around the time that I felt like, okay, maybe I have a little bit of free time, I actually expanded my family. Um, <laughs> so I have, uh, I now have two puppies and they're taking up so much of my time. It's like completely exhausting in the best way possible, of course. Um, who wouldn't want uh, two adorable little puppies? But uh, in case you weren't familiar, um, I do live by myself. And so puppies are hard at any point in time, but doing them by yourself is definitely harder than having somebody help you with them. Um, and I live in a townhouse. Uh, I do have on my channel is there's a build of my own actual house. So if you're curious what my house looks like, you can check that out in the video. Um, but that, um, that means that every time they need to go out, it's like two flights of stairs to take them out. So that's exhausting. And they are different ages. One is three months and one is six months. And so they need kind of different things. Um, so it's just been a lot, um, and I'm only just now finally feeling like I can sit down and record something. So hopefully we'll get into a pattern and a groove 
and I will be able to be more consistent with my uploads. Um, but I will make sure that I share a picture on the screen right now with you guys. So uh, these are my sweet little girls. It's hard for me to get good pictures of them because they're young enough that I kind of need to be in control of them at all times uh, with the leashes, uh, even inside the house. Uh, and so it's hard to get a picture of them because I, there's nobody else to take a picture. Um, but the little black and tan one, her name is Billy after Billy Holiday. And then the other one, uh, the Blenheim is what you call that collar. Uh, she is Pearl after Pearl Bailey. So two little girl Cavalier King Charles Spaniels. I am sure at some point I will do a, a create a sim and make them in the sims for my sim self. Um, but yeah, that is, uh, these are my, my sweet little bundles of joy that are now in my life. Um, they are currently taking a nap right now while we're recording. So hopefully... They're going to behave, um, and you're not going to hear a bunch of crying on, on the video. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead, speed through this evening, and we will uh, see what that graduation looks like. All right, so Betty is all ready to go to graduation. Her Uncle Paul has actually come to join her. For some reason, she's not actually, let's see, enthused about graduation with Josephine. What are you, who is Josephine, and, and why are we not actually doing this? There she goes. Okay, now they're all going inside, maybe? No. Oh, she's getting on her bike. There we go. This must be Josephine. Yes. Oh, well. So let's go ahead and make sure we're following Betty to her graduation ceremony. I love that she's, like, in her cap and gown on her bike. That's really funny to me. It's so pretty here in Brightchester with all the leaves. It's like a little bit of a whoop. There we go. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. No, no, no. <laughs> Stay down here, please. Kind of a cloudy day, but the campus is just really beautiful. I love how um, how they built all of this. I definitely am looking forward to spending a little bit more time here. Um, if you will recall, their tiny house is located in uh, in the little town here. Oh my gosh, this camera is driving me crazy. Okay, so this must be where we're going in for graduation. Who else is going in with her? Oh, I missed it. And where is she going? Where is she going? She's going away. No, you don't need to do that. Go in and into your graduation, please. Come back here, friend. No, come back. Come back. Where are you going? All right, I'm just speed it up. We'll see if she'll come back over here. Maybe she'll make a little loop. She's coming back. I see her coming back. This must be Josephine here chasing after her. Like, oh my gosh, we're going to be late for graduation. <laughs> Did she go in? I think she went in. Which, I don't think that they, like, do anything in there. Like, I think this is just kind of a, a rabbit hole. Um, so we'll go ahead. Let's speed through. I'm so sure she will come back out in a moment. There she is. All right. Yay! Oh, and look, Luis is also graduating right now. Excellent. So is Roy. I didn't even know that Roy was enrolled. All right. There we go. Who is this critter here? Yes. Take a selfie with the mascot. No, we can't do that. Selfies are not really a thing, are they? Um, we can high-five him, though. That is totally fine. I didn't realize that Louise was graduating. So there we go. Let's discuss logic puzzles with her. That sounds like a good plan. Um, there we go. Giving a good high-five to our, our, our little dragon friend there. Um, okay, are you going to go talk to Louise or not? Perhaps? Maybe not. Seems like all of our interactions are like super slow at the moment. Um, I wonder why that is. And I feel bad that Leroy couldn't come to graduation, but he was at work. He, he had to go to work. All right. Well, at least he got a promotion. So that's nice. Um, and we have a little buff from graduating. And then what are these other buffs? Of course, from getting married. And then, oh yes, flirty from taking her birth control. Um, I think it's going to be annoying that she's just going to be flirty all the time if she's on birth control, <laughs> but, um, at least I'm glad that we have a buff so that we can keep track of how long it's been since she's taken it. Cause you know, that was new from the last part. Um, and I figured she'd take it every morning. I don't know. We'll give it a shot. So here she is coming back over here to the commons and, um, let's actually go ahead and we'll bring, um, bring Leroy Ball here. Oh, look, it's um, what's her doodle? Uh, Judith, her old roommate. Hey, Judith. Um, no, it was her cheerful introduction. Are you a mom still? Like, what happened with your life? Oh, we're out back here. Oh, here's Uncle Paul. There we go. We could also say, um, express our admiration for Uncle Paul. There we go. 
just sitting here chit chatting, and she is definitely going to need to get a career now. Um, do we have any kind of like you did real good with your schoolwork or something? I figured there'd be a notification of some kind saying that like she because I think she gets to be higher up in in her job. What about do we have a notification up here? Here's the promotion. Travel. Let's see. No, there's nothing about it. So, okay. Um, maybe she should just go home and apply for a job. Um, she wants to be a judge. That was her goal. So, um, we're definitely going to get her into the legal career, which her degree should have made it, um, made that be a good thing for her. So, we'll see if that, yeah, her history degree. So, hopefully that, that will work well for her. Um. Yeah, I don't see anything that is indicating to me. Is this a, that's her university acceptance letter. We don't even have a diploma. Maybe they'll mail that. Um, let's go ahead. Let's have her go home, actually. And we can bring Louise with us. Um, let's travel together. That will probably be the fastest way to make that happen. Uh, oh, and I think Leroy is here somewhere, but I haven't seen him. So we'll bring him, too. And Uncle Paul can come, too. Um, let's see. There she is, Louise. Okay, let's all just go home. We should probably take a look at the family tree, too, because I have no idea if we have, like, new little cousins or anything like that. All right, we're not all going to fit into our house, guys. I'm just letting you know. There's there's not enough room in this postage stamp lot for everybody to fit inside. Um, but we'll give it a shot. We'll, <laughs> we'll see how long they can entertain two people. Um, <laughs> her stepsister and her uncle really bummed that her mom didn't show up for graduation that just is real unfortunate you know um but that that's where where it's at uh oh she has a graduation portrait okay we can hang that on the wall in here let's see how about right here we can yeah we'll put both of them because i'm assuming that leroy will have one fairly soon too so we'll put her little graduation portrait there very nice. Um, and then, yeah, still no diploma or anything like that. What is this? Uh, sadness alleviation lotion. Oh, she must have made that with her herbology stuff that she was doing. So let's go ahead and have her come to career and uh, find a job. Let's see. Oh, gosh. Uncle Paul's making a mess over here. She wants to be... Do -do -do -do. Judge. There we go. Um, having a relevant university degree will hire easier promotions. Okay, I think that that's the one that we did, right? I'm guessing, I think that's the one that we did. Due to her degree in this field, yes, excellent. Look at all that money. Yes, we really needed some money too. Uh, yes, she should go ahead and start researching legal issues. That sounds like a good plan. Um, uh, she's a gavel smasher. That's really funny. Um, but we should scavenge for parts and then throw this away. And then what are you doing out here, friendo? You are eating some sweet bread. Where did you even get some sweet bread? That's really funny. Why don't you come and talk to Uncle Paul? I don't even know. Yeah, they haven't met each other. Go ahead and do a friendly introduction there. Uncle Paul has been, like, incredibly supportive. And to be perfectly honest, Uncle Richard has been trying. Um, so for longtime viewers, you will know, um, that... Uncle Richard uh, left his girlfriend at the altar and um, then moved off to the jungle and got married to a Salvadoranian out there and had kids and like has been like outcast from the family. Uncle Paul was best friends with Irene, who is the girlfriend that got left at the altar. And as he comforted her for being left at the altar, they fell in love. And so that's his wife and they have kids together and it's precious. But Uncle Richard has been trying, like, oh my gosh, this TV is so loud. Uncle Richard has been trying since Betty was in high school to get back in touch with her, and she keeps shooting him down. But I'm thinking at some point that she needs to go ahead and be like, hey, so I've been cast out of the family now too, and do you want to commiserate over that together? <laughs> like, perhaps I judged you a little bit too much, um, because now that I know how this feels, and I know that I didn't do anything wrong, um... Yeah, that might be something to, to consider, is, is her and Uncle Richard kind of reconnecting, I guess you could say. It looks like we need to take final exams for both of these classes, but then he'll be kind of done with class. Maybe he should go ahead and do that. Oh, and he also needs to go jogging. Here, 
Let's go send Leroy jogging. Ah, uh, where is it? Go jogging. And then I will have him um, sign up to do the exams. And you need to do your legal research. How do we do that? Is that on the computer? At the research archive machine. Ooh, I think that you need to go to the library. Because I bet it's not on here. You know, oh, yeah. What does that say? Apply to universities. Yeah, no, she definitely doesn't need to do that. Career, <laughs> law career, file, write opinion, make rulings. Yeah, she can't do any. She can't do the research that she needs to do. Um, so where is the research archive machine? Leroy, I thought that you were out jogging. Did you finish your jogging? No, you came back inside. Go jogging. I need you to to do well because we are like we're poor. Congratulations, uh, she's earned her degree. The proof is her diploma, and I can find it in her inventory. Okay, so she does get a diploma in her inventory. Just took us a while to get there. There it is. Lovely. History without honors. She she unfortunately just barely missed getting honors, which I can relate to because I did the same thing when I was in school. I was very close to getting honors in grad school, and it didn't happen. Like, two hundredths of a point. It was very annoying. Um... So, they probably should leave now. <laughs> Here, clean all this up, and then I'm going to have her go to the library. Um, we should actually, let's see, travel on her bike, because it's in this same little neighborhood. And we'll see if we can find that research machine. Uh, law career. Yeah, okay, research legal issues. Isn't this just a regular computer? No, these are specific like research prep for debate these are different okay oh look at all of these things you could research that's really interesting is there anything for herbalism surely there is because she does still have that as like an interest even though she hasn't really done much with it okay so she's coming in here to do her research hopefully this won't take too long oh and she also gets to get her research and debate skill up can we do that on here too Prep for debate. Yeah, I bet that's that skill. And maybe that's even the skill she's working on right now because she is doing some research. Okay, I'm going to have her stay here in the library for a while and get oh. some of this work done. Aw, Virginia, congrats on landing that sweet job. I think this is going to be great for you. So this is her Aunt Virginia. That's so sweet. Thank you, Aunt Virginia. Um, so I'm going to let her stay in here. She's still in her cap and gown. Get some research done, um, and then she's going to head on home. What should he be doing right now? Um, oh, he's here. What are you doing here, buddy? Okay, that's fine. Oh, you're in like a state too. Did you finish your jogging? Probably not. No, because he doesn't feel good. Um, he's all smelly too. Look at all of his little smell things. Do we have like a bathroom? We do. Does he need to use the bathroom? He does not, but we could come and have him wash his hands. That would at least help. Go wash your hands, bud. Let's let's get that a little bit turned around. And then maybe he can go jogging. We can try that again. Leroy, come here. Will you go jogging, please? I know that you're gross, but please go jogging. I would really like for that to just hurry up and be done. Uh, okay, so he's off doing that. She is over here still, working away. All right, so I'm going to have them finish this. We'll send them on home for the evening, and hopefully he'll get done with his classes soon. All right, so it is the next morning, and it's Christmas. So it's their first Christmas together as a married couple. Um, I'm sure that Betty is kind of sad because it's also her first Christmas, like, without her family. Um, but surely we could do something to decorate around here. So let's see if we can... Um, all right, so she's they're, they're chit-chatting, and that's what's getting this one going. They also want to open presents, attend a holiday ceremony. Yeah, they got to go to church, and then decorate. I don't think we have any decorations, but we might. What's in the household inventory? I'm not even sure. We have Freelancer Award. I wonder what that's from. A Medal of Questioning. Barrister's bookcase. Oh, these are some really cool office furniture things that she'll get to use eventually. <laughs> we don't have any space for them now, but we definitely need to get something for decorations. So let's go ahead. Holiday items. Here we go. Where is holiday items? Holiday decor. Show all. Okay. We want this one. Where's the box? It's 
it's in here somewhere. I'm just being blind and can't see it. Maybe it's under items. There's a pile of presents, but that's not really what I want. I want the box of decorations. Aha, that's what I want. Okay. So let's put it here. And then she can put it back in storage, AKA the household inventory after they're done. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna have her um, put up decorations. Oh, look at our little eaves. That looks so cool. Beautiful. Okay, so let's go ahead, come back inside and have her um, rummage for winter decorations. Let's see if there's anything for inside the house. I know we don't have much space for it, but there could be something that we could put up. I kind of feel like they should have a tree, but I don't know where on earth that would go, you know? So definitely paper chains and lights are things that you have room for. The walls are your friends when you live in a tiny house. You can decorate on the walls, um, but that's about, <laughs> about the end of that. And so I'm guessing that we're not going to have work either because it's the holidays, so they'll get to spend some time together. What'd she find? Do we even know? No, she rummaged for decorations and she didn't pull anything out. Don't they usually pull things out and like set them on the floor? Maybe I messed that up. Do we have a way to do a Christmas tree at all? Probably not, but I'm gonna look and see. Is there like a really tiny tree of any kind? We have some little decals. A lump of coal, don't want that. A little rug, that's cute. Oh, some cards. Maybe we could do some holiday cards. Let's see. Would they go on top of them? No. They could put cards on the table, but then they won't be able to eat there. We just don't have any room for anything. Uh, what about up here? No. I guess that's it. That's your only little spot. Um, so let's not put cards there then. Let's put maybe the candles there. No, that's spring. Where is the little candle for Christmas? Do, 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 do. Here we go. I think this is what I wanted. Yep. I was hoping for red and green though. Aha! This is the one I wanted. This is the one I wanted. Okay. Um, yeah, that'll work. All right, there's your holiday decor. Unfortunately, that's all we got for you. But it's enough. It did tick it off for her. Um, how early is it? Yes, a little early to go to church. So we'll have them go to church. We could go ahead and do a gift exchange. Yes, let's give him a Christmas present. Oh gosh. We don't really have anything good, do we? Um, we can give you a ladybug. Would you even want a ladybug? Yeah, let's give him a ladybug and then we'll see what he has in his inventory because I have no idea. It may be awful. We shall see. Huh? <laughs> and? Uh -oh. huh. What do we got? You like it? Oh, oh. Looks like he liked it. <laughs> Not too bad. Oh, good. It checked her off. How about you, buddy? You want to give her a present? Oh, y'all need a thermostat, don't you? We might not even have enough. I'm going to give her back the same ladybug. No, don't do that. That's kind of a jerk thing to do. Give her a minnow. Give her a rose. That'll work. It's not the best, but it is your first, you know, it's your first opportunity to, to have gifts for each other, so... And does he actually want the grand meal? He kind of does, but we don't have room for a grand meal. Do we have a thermostat? I don't think we do. No, we don't. Let's go ahead and buy one of those too. We do have enough money for it, so we might as well. Um, where can we put it? Let's see, where's a good spot? Maybe here? That looks good. We'll go ahead and make it warmer. Set the thermostat to warmer. And then we need to put these back in the inventory too. There we go. So we just do not have enough room for them to be out and about in the house. All right, so they're definitely gonna be warmer now and that's gonna be good. Um, Yeah, so I'm gonna send them off to church and then, you know what, let's, um, let's actually find another house to go to for a grand meal. So maybe, um, maybe Uncle Paul will invite us over to the farm. I don't know. Let's see. Let's look at the family tree. Haven't looked at that in a while. All right. So we do have 
So this is Susan and Betty were brother and sister, or brother and sister, were sisters. Um, and that's because uh, Joseph was our, you know, the descendant uh, from our, our decades challenge. Um, but he passed away and in the war. And so we've got um, Olivia remarried to Dick, who already had three kids. Oh my gosh. Leland is now a high school student. Leland was a toddler. Oh my gosh, this is so crazy. He had three kids from his first marriage. Um, he is also a widower. And then they had a son, Daniel, together. So that's like that whole generation of family. Um, then we also have, so Irene was um, Olivia's sister. And she's the one that's married to Paul. <gasps> they have more children. Oh my gosh. They only had two kids last time I checked. Okay. So they have Deborah and Michael. And then now they have Melissa and Giovanni. I wonder where they got those names from. I had no idea that they had more kids. Are they twins? They look like they could be twins. They're both toddlers. How cute is that? Okay, so maybe that is where we will go. Um, let's see. So then we also have Virginia, who is, um, it doesn't show, but she has a partner, which is like really on the DL because um, same sex relationships were not okay. We're not considered okay back then. Um, but she and her partner have been together for like, like for like 20 years or something like that. They are, they're quote unquote roommates. And then you have uncle Richard who married Fabiana and they have two kids together and they all live, um, in the jungle, which is really interesting to me that her, their kids are like a toddler and a child when the, we already have Daniel as a child, um, from the, hold on, from the relationship that Olivia had. Like Daniel is in grade school, but he was younger than um, Richard's kid. So I think time might be a little goofy, but that's okay. So maybe we have her try to go to the farm to see Uncle Paul and these two new children. Um, and that's where we will do our grand meal. So um, let me get them uh, dressed up. We'll send them to church and then we will go do a grand meal together. All right, and so I've got uh, Betty and Leroy and also Susan all came together uh, for a grand meal here on the farm. This place is just so beautiful in the wintertime. I absolutely love this place with some snow on it. So let's go ahead, head on in here. Um, and I believe we've got, I came in here real quick, you know, and, and, and got the meal ready to go. So I'm going to attempt to see if Betty can call to meal. Can she do it? Call to grand meal. Excellent. So this is a turkey dinner that, of course, Irene made. Um, we may have more people than we have seats at the table, but that is okay. <laughs> so let's see how many people will come and eat. So, um, and Irene also contributed some tofu dogs. That's so lovely of her. Uh, so Irene is, of course, um, Betty's aunt. This is Michael. And then I think this is Deborah, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. So those are the two children we knew about. And then we have two new little kiddos. Let's see. Is one of them right here? Yes. This one is Melissa, I believe. Um, yes. And then this one was a Giovanni. Let's see if it holds still long enough. Yes. So those are Paul and Irene's children. And so we're enjoying our grand meal here together. Just going to take it off. Oh, and it already did. Excellent. We are going to have the best Christmas ever. And we are so thankful that Paul and Irene were able to uh, include us in the family meal, even though um, our own mother and stepfather were not so, so keen to do so. Um, really thankful for family at this time, even though it doesn't look exactly the way they had thought it might. Um, Uncle Paul has still been quite lovely to uh, Leroy and has is, is kind of embraced him and brought him into the family, even when um, Betty's own mother had a hard time doing that. So that is going to be their Christmas together. We are so thankful for that. Um, let's just take a look around the farm while we're waiting. Oh, who's out here? Who are you, sir? Anthony Middleton. Oh, that's one of the guys that used to live in the... Um, what you do, Bobby, in the same apartment complex as Leroy and Betty, you know, because they were neighbors and Anthony was one of the other neighbors. Um, it looks like somebody's been working on a snowman, perhaps. We've got the farm. Crops are all here. Um, Uncle Richard's still trying to get in touch with us. 
No, we don't want you to, um, we don't want to go to the bluffs. Um, but maybe we should invite him over for dinner at some point soon. But all the crops are still in here. It looks like, uh, for the most part, they're doing pretty well. We also have the little pond. It's hard to see everything because it is nighttime and, and snowy. Um, then we've got, like, their little playground area over here. Then you've got, this was the area that was the, um where they could keep all of their like family crops. So this was like the farm and then this is like the family garden. And then this is the little back house that um, at the moment, I don't think anybody is living back here. This is actually where Paul and Irene first lived when they got married. Um, and that's, you know, if we find that we get into a financial situation, I bet that uh, at this point, um, Betty feels comfortable asking Uncle Paul for some help if it winds up that they need, they need a place to stay. Um, but it's at the moment, the best place for them is, is kind of close to the university so that she can continue to do her research for her law career. He's still finishing up classes, Leroy is, so, um, moving all the way out here to the farm would not be the best thing for them to, to continue on with what they're doing, you know, educationally. And oh my goodness, this child is absolutely wrecking things. Can we discipline her or something? We need to be introduced to our niece, maybe? Let's see, that's her uncle's child so this would be cousin this is her cousin melissa um and we need to like scold her for whatever it is that she's doing here um okay now that we've met her can we discipline her <laughs> um toddler care not really all right that's fine well anyways that's that so i am um let's see what where is he at with his school stuff yeah he's got class in two days he still used to go jogging. We've got a few little cleaning up things to do, but I think I'm going to go ahead and leave this part here. It's been a lovely Christmas that they've had together for their first Christmas. And um, I'm going to have uh, Betty go ahead and keep working on her career and have Leroy go ahead and get finished up with school. So probably in the next part, we'll wind up having Leroy's graduation. And then he needs to figure out, does he want to stay in the military or does he want to switch and do something different? So we'll, we'll see what he comes up with for that. So thank you so much for watching. Hope that you've enjoyed this part. Again, I am so sorry it's been so long since our last part. Uh, but that's, you know, that's just kind of how it goes uh, when you have things like uh, the complete lockdown and, and life just doesn't happen the way that you thought it was going to happen. I know you all can relate. So if you wouldn't mind, please give this video a big thumbs up and make sure that you have subscribed to my channel so that you have the opportunity to enter that giveaway when we do finally hit 1,000 subscribers. I would really appreciate that. We're so, so close, less than 40 people away from 1,000 subscribers. And I will see y'all in the next part. Thanks so much, y'all. Bye.